What is going on Wolfpack Savage here? In today's video, we're gonna have an in-depth coaching session. That's right. This isn't gonna be your normal spectating video. We're gonna be breaking it down, pausing in real time and showing the mistakes that players are making and talking about how to do the opposite. This is gonna be extremely in-depth. We're gonna be pausing a lot. I'm gonna have a few self demonstrations as well. I want you guys to get better. I want you guys to improve. Warzone 2 is coming out in what? Nine months, eight months? I want you guys to be ready for it. I do. I want players to have more fun. I want this community to grow together. That's why I'm here. But guys, if you enjoy the video or learn something new, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel today. But without any further ado, let's dive into the gameplay. All right, class. So right now we have Loco. Um, and this is an in-depth video. So we will be analyzing and breaking down everything from the things that he buys to the reticle placement, to the movement, to covering what he should have done to win a gunfight should he lose and as well as the enemy if he kills the enemy we'll talk about how the enemy should have changed his rotations whatnot we're gonna be covering rotations where to land how to chase down kills this is gonna be an in-depth video that's why it's titled like that um and right off the bat no slide canceling um and reticle placement is is a little low i right we're gonna make this bigger but you see his reticle it's not with the horizon you want to try to keep it up and the reason for that is if you guys are flicking you'll be able to snap to the enemies faster and it's less micro corrections. If it's already up where the enemy's head should be at, all you gotta do is move sideways. Again, elevation stuff should throw it off, but no matter what, make it a habit to always keep your reticle on the horizon. And I will show you a demonstration here. All right, so this is gonna be quick and short. Basically again, crosshair placement. You wanna try your best to keep it within this range. Of course, the caldera, you're gonna have to take some peaks up ridges and down ridges, but always return to your center point. The reason being is if an enemy wraps around, you can instantly just lock on the head and the micro corrections are very minimal. If you guys are aiming at the ground like this, well, I got killed really fast. If you guys are aiming at the ground like this and playing, not only do you have to bring your crosshair up, then you have to bring it over. And a lot of you guys, well, you could just do this, but it, trust me, it's a lot harder to go at an angle than it is just to do this. It's a lot harder, whether you're on mouse and keyboard or controller. But try your best while you're navigating to always just, again, keep it somewhat around where the enemy's head will be at. That way you guys can be a lot more accurate. That way you guys can take a lot faster shots and make decisions a lot more faster. Everything is better when you keep your crosshair placement within that range. So guys, again, make sure you do this. But I'm gonna demonstrate real quick. We'll get back into it, what it looks like when I have to snipe at people when I'm aiming at the ground. Exhibit two, and we'll move on. All right, so continue on. I guess I might as well turn my put my headset on if I can hear things. That'd be, that'd be important with BRs, right? We got the loadout drop. Let's run into now. Look, secondly, I want to talk about his tunnel vision. Now, normal players, this is not a normal thing, I, I don't think, but normal players only get tunneled when they're in a fight, right? They're focused on one guy. There's enemies moving around, but they don't care. They just want to get the kill. That's a topic for later on. This tunnel vision right here is we're just, we're navigating first off in the open, no cover, no concealment. We've got the high ground to our left and low ground to our right. We have a lot of angles on us. It shouldn't enemy be near. And we're not looking around, right? I know for controller players, it's a little bit more difficult to look side to side as you're moving compared to us mouse and keyboard players. I will give you guys that, but you wanna make an effort to at least try to look side to side when you're navigating. And with that helps with sensitivity settings. Uh, you know, raising your sensitivity and lowering your ADS sensitivity makes your aim a little bit tighter and also makes your movement a little bit faster, but we should cover that later in the video as well. I told you guys, it's gonna be in depth. This is not a normal spectating video that we do. Again, we got a wide open area to our right-hand side. We've got a village over there as well. And again, the we got the buildings up top on our left-hand side, and we're not even making an effort to look. Rocking the OTS and the Swiss, not a bad combo. To be honest, the OTS still does a little bit of work. We got a vehicle on the left-hand side driving away, but he doesn't even acknowledge it. He doesn't even look that direction. Granted, it is driving away, but still, peep up. You don't know if he's running from players. You don't know what the situation is. Also, this gameplay, I mean, his movement seems a little, la uh, a little lazy. It seems like his fingers are just lazy right now because he's running in the trees, running in the rocks, things like that. Now, this is already looted, so if you're here for loot, it's time to move to another compound. Crouching. Do not ever crouch in this game. I know a lot of you guys will be like, Savage, what, what about this? What about? No, absolutely not. 
This is the only time I recommend anybody ever crouch. And I'm gonna demonstrate it here. Also the use of crouching guys. And I'm gonna use this piece of cover. Unfortunately, it's not free for all. I am playing uh, team, team deathmatch against a bunch of bots. So it's gonna be a lot of deaths. But when you guys are reloading, you wanna keep your eyes on the enemy. So when you come back up, you can line it up with where he's at, right? Same thing when you're plating. I'm gonna, we'll just pretend this is plating real quick, right? I'm plating up, plating up. See what happens when I don't peek? A whole squad rushes me. Now let's go back there and show you what it's like to keep eyes on the enemy. All right, so while you're playing, you want to try your best to keep eyes on the enemy at all times. Weird that this guy's not coming out, to be honest. But again, that way you can line up your crosshair with the enemy and always keep eyes on it. It makes it a lot harder for the enemy to shoot you too, as opposed to where if you pop your head out and all four of them bum rush you, you get absolutely destroyed. The crouching, the problem with it is if you don't spot an enemy and he sees you, before you can stand up and run away, you're gonna get tapped. You're an easy target. You are more, you are more vulnerable prone and crouched than you are standing up and walking. All right. Let's rewind this a little bit. I know I'm pausing a lot, but again, in depth, boys. So look, first things first, your boy's running, we hear shots, no initial hit, right? We don't get hit yet, but we hear firing. So what you instantly need to do is open your eyes and get ready to look for the hit indicator and go off of that. We get shot, boom, we're shot. So the enemy's gonna be to our right and up a little bit. So he's gonna be in this area, duh, that's a given for most players. This guy here, instead of what I would have done is run into this building, right? The enemy's inaccurate. He's missing a lot of shots. If we increase our movement slide cancel, we should be able to make it to this building. What does the enemy do? He turns his back exactly, basically, to where the enemy's shooting him in the back, right? Granted, he's making his way to this rock, which I understand and I mess with. I like this. If that's gonna be your plan, this is where you turn left, play the rock, and try to snipe him. You have a sniper. Why not try to take picks on an enemy who is very inaccurate? with his ability, but instead of doing that, instead of contesting the enemy, instead of using the rock to conceal ourselves, what do we do? We, we move more to the right and he's zigzagging. If we just separate ourselves with the enemy using the rock, you don't need to zigzag. Oh, oh my God, weird. The enemy killed us because we turned our back to him. Now look, a lot of you guys are gonna be like, Savage, you might not have made it to the building. A lot of you guys might have thought that. But look at the distance. This is where he was. That's the distance he had to cover. And look how much distance we covered this way before we died. So again, play the building, play the rock, always play the enemy. This is a first person shooter. This is not run away. I'm a scary little bitch. That's not what this game title is. If you want to play that, go play Apex. I'm kidding. A lot of you guys right now are like, I love Apex Savage. It's a joke. Relax. All right. But look, do not ever turn your back to an enemy unless you're outnumbered. And you, you have to break away and try to make an escape. This was just, no, no bueno. The fear set in, the lack of knowledge set in, and this is why he got waxed. And moving on to the second guy who's clearly struggling with his aim a little bit. Oh, he was solo quadding. Yo, I'm gonna be honest. I thought this was solos. I'm gonna be real. And then I remember just now that you don't have BR solos right now because Activision hates anything that's fun. Sick. Not sure what we're doing. We have we have a, a lot of money. We have a loadout drop as well. So we don't need more money. We are sitting on $10,000. Let's buy some UAVs. I don't really recommend buying self reses for everyone. I really don't, especially if you still have your Gulag left. I find in Caldera compared to Verdance, you will get executed more often because again of the wide open areas. If you get down, there's a 99% chance you're gonna get executed. No doubt about it. Unless you happen to camp in buildings, then buy all the self reses you want. You're unsavable. Going for a recon. Oh my god. I didn't I'm gonna be honest. I didn't even realize purple was sitting on twenty five thousand dollars. And by the way, purple just left the buy station. I just want to throw that out. Now we can buy self reses and all the UFs. All of them. So this is what I'm talking about with momentum right here. Look, look at how we're just analyzing this loot. You guys need to practice knowing exactly what you need 
and exactly what the weapons and things on the ground look like and what they are, identifying what these objects are. There's no reason for us to be sitting here looking at the loot, being like, maybe if I stare harder, I'll get something better. It's not gonna happen. This gameplay is making me stress, not gonna lie. Going for big game bounty. I do respect that for sure. Also, guys, what a beautiful time to let you guys know about Sneak Energy. I know I'm sponsored. I know it gets old, but dudes, I'm really trying to just spread the awareness out here. Sneak's honestly just, it's just changed my gaming life. It's changed my life in general, I'm gonna be real. That's, that's, that's dramatic, I get it. But you gotta realize, I've always been addicted to caffeine. But I'm always crashing hard, dude. I'm always crashing. Gotta drink more. Gotta drink more. I need I need 15 drinks of this brand I'm not gonna name in order to survive a day. But Sneak Man, look, y'all saw that video yesterday. Um, but guys, if you want, but guys, if you're interested in Sneak, make sure you click the link in the description below and just get the sample pack. You don't have to buy a $40 tub. Get the sample pack and try it out. But moving on to what is, what is this? Are we shooting and what? All right, so right now let's look at the mini map because I have a feeling I already know what's gonna happen. We have players clustered together. This is a perfect opportunity for us to separate and flank the enemy. Now, when I say separate, I don't mean one guy run off and start looting. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Looks like he's looting. What you need to do is stick together and like fan out like a civil war, you know, just a straight line and then collapse on the enemies. If you just tunnel in one at a time, it's gonna be like shooting fish in the barrel for the enemy. He's gonna easily take you out. So again, what you guys need to do is utilize your numbers in different positions to surprise the enemy and shock at all of them. Weird, one goes down. Now he is ghosted. All right, now look, we're going in by ourselves too. Now, I want you guys to notice too, while we're just kind of sitting here, these two guys are sitting, we're kind of moving up by ourselves. The enemy team's moving up. They're doing exactly what I'm recommending, fan out. They started together and they spread out. You've got an enemy on purple building, you've got an enemy in this one as well, and then you've got the enemy in front of us that just killed our teammate. So they have a good angle on us. If we go down, or we get in a position where we're about to go down, we have no one to help us. Our teammates are nowhere near us, so you need to be on point for this. I don't mind seeing you go in and trying to solo this. I'm fine with that, but just be aware, dude. You need to have your teammates somewhere close in case, you know, shit gets, shit gets a little freaky. I don't know why we're looting. We've got so much money, dude. We can't even count it all. This is a, I didn't even know this was a glitch, I'm gonna be honest. But then again, my brain can't possibly add up all the glitches in this game. Landing into our right-hand side, he doesn't hear it. Maybe he does, he wrapped back around that direction. Don't go for the execute, bro. All right, all right, all right. Look at this, look at this. So look, I'm all about executing. There's nothing more infuriating, nothing more infuriating than downing an enemy and having them get rest. I get it, I really do. I like the fact that we had them one tapped and we just continue to push up. I respect that. No one's here, get the tap, boom, dead. Now we see two enemies sitting there. We're gonna lose this fight. And if we were to break away right now, we could outplay this entire entire fight. The chance of the enemy crawling up the staircase, getting to the building and being rezzed is very, very slim. Why is that? Because you have teammates looking directly at them as well. So he's going to die. But again, the tunnel vision, the ego of wanting that kill so badly you're willing to die for it is what costed us our life. Well, we went down, I don't know if he died. But again, bad play, instant breakaway. Don't go for the execute, let your teammates do it. Let them know, be like, bro, hit him for me. But instead now we're by ourselves. There's two enemies on us and we go down. It's all about decision-making guys, it really is. Now, I do recommend everyone take days of themselves where they just make bad decisions. They push fights. I do it all the time. Just push fights and practice your gunplay. I get it. Now, now look, look at the mini map. We've got these two guys sitting in here fighting somebody else. They're shooting at someone. They're shooting at someone else right now. So what can we do? We could help our teammate. We could go ahead and push them. I would say, though, I don't like fighting in this area for this reason here. Every time I'm in this compound, it's a cluster. Every time the buildings are penetrable, penetrable, penetratable, Pen 
I'm from New Orleans, bro. I don't have a good education, but look, you can shoot through them bitches. I know that, right? There's not much covers, a lot of sand, a lot of openings. You guys don't want to be around here um, if you're going to kind of be playing passive. You got to you gotta go in, be fast, be efficient, get out, dude. Otherwise, it's going to be team after team after team. Thankfully, um, the Black Pirate was behind us, able to suppress the enemy. Unfortunately, the Black Pirate pushed up by himself. I definitely would have waited for him. Again, we're pinched. We need we need to push together. And why did this happen? I'll let it I'll let it finish out. I keep pausing. Why did that team just die? What do I say on a daily basis in my tip videos? The thousands of videos we've made, the millions of people that have watched, and still, still. That sounded egotistical. It really isn't. I'm just trying to emphasize the amount of people that watch the videos, and they still do this. They still do it. If you guys prolong fights, if you sit there and fight for three, four, five minutes, you will get shot behind. You will get shot in the back. You will get third party. No surprise there at all. Fortunately, that team had no gulag. They are out for the count, and we have an advanced UAV up. Now again, look, we got an advance, boys. We're in a bad spot. Look at how many people are around us. Here, Orange is right now pushing up by himself. He's diving into a 1v4. One, two, three, four. Right? And then we hesitate. And then we hesitate. Why? Why would he hesitate? Savage, what would you have done? Well, first off, I wouldn't have pushed this. We're in a bad position. We're on the low ground. The enemies are spread out. So if we start fighting one, guess what? This guy here is going to come up on the ridge and use it as a heady and, and shoot us in the back. If we're lucky, if it's only those two guys, right? You're diving into an impossible situation. I wouldn't have minded us to push as a squad, but still even then, not really a good idea. Just play long distance, reposition, get off this beachhead and wrap around and use the force to your advantage. But definitely it's a bad idea. Now look, if you are committed to just soloing, squatting, again, don't like this, this guy's right on us. You got to look at the movement of the mini map. This guy was here. He's moving towards us. You know that you see the live ping from your homie. Thank you, homie, for that. And still we turn around to look at the guy above us. One of the reasons why I say don't put yourself in this position. Now, two, who's the biggest threat right now? The guy above us? It's, it's arguable for sure. The guy moving towards us. And look, even here, we see the guy be hopping. Oh, you can't see because of me. My bad, guys. Even the guy here, we see him be hopping and our look at our notice our reaction time. And not only not only did we get shot, we didn't even attempt to shoot the enemy. We didn't even attempt to shoot him. We only lost a little bit over a plate. It's still a winnable fight. We got a good gun, a decent gun. And unfortunately, the tracking, I think we hit him one time. His, his bad tracking right here. Just notice, like, he, he follows the enemy well, but again, the delay in his reaction time, he's not able to recover, and he tracks us right behind them. Yeah, he literally hits him one time, so. Now look, look at Purple. He did exactly what I was recommending. Get off the beachhead, utilize the forest and the buildings to your advantage, and wrap into the enemies. This is exactly what you should have done. Also, I want to point out the fact green's way behind, blue's running away, and purple is trying to go in. Now, purple's got 14 kills, my man. And that's that. That's that right there, boys. Purple played it well, and again, notice there's different levels of strategy with positioning. Your boy's got 15 kills as opposed to Devil the Dad, who had, I don't even know, wasn't paying attention, six kills, I think. Now your boy going in for the res, good on him. We've got enemies at the other buy station right here. Buying our second Lodi. Probably gonna be rocking some restock with the stems, I'd imagine. Oh, yo. Dude, look, look, I always try. I gotta give it to him, son. You don't see this often. Your boy didn't even want the second loadout. He's good with what he has. He bought the loadout and bought his teammate back and threw the money down so his boy can buy a self res. What a fucking, what an animal. This is teamwork you never spectate, period. You, you see very rarely in general, unless it's just, unless it's some really good squad. So I love to see that shit. It, it warms my heart, man.
All right, but enough of the sentimentals. We have blue off by his lonesome. Green's way behind. Blue's so far on the edge of the mini map. He's probably further than it actually looks. Um, so there, I have a feeling they're going to get picked off one at a time. Again, you just see this happen from time to time. I don't mind if you guys split up in twos for sure. And if you're going to split up solo quads, you, you're going to have to be a goat of goats for sure. But splitting up in, up in twos is, is definitely a good strategy. We do that pretty often. Um, but make sure you're together. Like this, this is basically, you're basically just solo diving into a 1v4. Weird! Oh! So weird! Bam's gaming goes down. King's probably going to follow suit. We see the vehicle right here. We're going to park up. Enemy behind the vehicle also on foot. Good observation from I always try. Weird! You guys would be hopping behind it right now. Now we are in a position to gatekeep, but again, because of the amount of cover around us, it's not a good visit, not a good idea for Orange to be going. Oh, he's already getting shot at. Wow. It's not a good idea for Orange to be going down here because again, we saw enemies were wrapping around to the right hand side. So he's going to get blitzed. And we're just gonna dive out, which is definitely the better option. We're in a position now, the enemy's got a lot of cover, a lot of concealment. They've got the advantage. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna ram us. Trying to trying his best. Now look at oh damn it, bro. No, not into the water. He tried to park the vehicle in front. Now look at this too. Alright, I'm gonna cover two things. One, he tried to park the vehicle in front of the money drop. That way he could get it and use the vehicle as cover. Great play. Didn't work out because of the the hill, but great play. Two, look at how he moves. Now you don't just do this for loadouts, you don't just do this for money drops. You do this when you're in the middle of a fight. You do this when you're behind, you know, a vehicle, you're being shot at, when you're behind a rock, you're being shot at. You're just behind cover. Whenever you see players getting shot, what do they do? They crouch and they hide. You know how I, got, how I told you never to crouch? Remember how earlier I showed you how to efficiently be a croucher, like when to do it? This is exactly what I was talking about. This is exactly what I was doing in that highlight. This is exactly what you need to be doing. What does this do for you? Well, it keeps your eyes on enemies. So if you're just crouched behind this, you're not gonna see enemies pushing you. You might hear them, but Seeing's better than hearing in this game because you can't trust the audio. Deadies, right? So what do you need to do? We need to keep popping up. See how he moves around and he's looking. He's able to see. So if an enemy was popping here, popping here, popping here, he could go back to the box and start picking one off. Go back to it, reload, pick another one off, and rinse and repeat. This seems very basic, but I guarantee you, 90% of the people watching this video right now do not do this. But I always try, he's definitely got to shit together. He is definitely no bot. Rocket 15 kills, 23 up, and he's going to get a... He's going to be able to buy everybody back. Dangerous spot, though. We need to get out of here. We go, oh, no. Help me help you, Treyarch. Get me out of here. Sorry for the coughing, boys. It's getting better, but this fucking cough is lasting forever. All right, so look at the level of multitasking we're doing right now. We bought back all of our teammates. We're able to buy, uh, grab the big game bounty and start that great job using the, uh, the uh, precision, the cluster to suppress the enemy, giving them ample amount of opportunity to get out of there. I love it. And look, don't always use clusters and precision to try to get a kill, right? You can also use them if you're in a bad spot, just like I always tried it. We were probably going to die if we didn't have that, if that enemy was half as decent with the shots. So having that most likely saved our lives. I like the fact that we're slowly moving away and we're keeping our eyes on there in case this little dude peeks again. We see a stun go off the building we we're just looking at. The big game bounty is pushing there as well. That might get poached. Great shot. A lot of gunfire coming at us. Be very dangerous to peek right now. We need to go for the res, but it's too many. It's too much of a head glitch and too many enemies shooting at us to try to contest that. Um, I definitely would have gone for the res, but we do have a selfie, so it's not a big deal. But right now, there's a chance they may be they may be pushing up. We need to get this res off too. Here's the push. Just like they should.
unfortunate. So in that position there, um, I don't mind that they went to the build, and I probably would have done the same thing, to be honest. But when we saw three people sit on that heading, they instantly got that knock, you need to make your best ability to go over there um, and get the res up. Even if you have to crouch walk, whatever you got to do, have, the, have your teammate crawl to you, whatever. Get that res up. So if you do go down, not only do you not waste that self res, but if you get down again and your teammate's still up and they push, he's there to at least cover fire while you're popping a selfie. Unfortunate to see him go down like that, but we still do have a few teammates. And his team looks to be camping. A team of TTVers just sitting on buildings camping, weird. Double Dad's back, Bam is back. Um, King has enough money to buy right now. It looks like he's making his way to the buy station. That's exactly what he's doing. The loadout drop is out of zone. So we need to go ahead, come up with another plan and stop floating around like this. Yep, stop floating. No, 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 no. Where are you going, my guy? Where are you going? Oh no. Now look, when it's in game like this or in a bad position, you gotta try your best to get back to your squad mates. This is where communication's key. You gotta rally together because it's in game. You don't wanna get caught up. All the teams are gonna start camping up the edge. All the teams are gonna start camping up in little areas like this. And you wanna make sure you're with your team and doing something similar. Not really camping, just playing together and pushing through areas. We've got a lot of enemies marked, and we're just kind of sitting in this little bunker, not doing shit. Devil was having, Devil was sitting on six kills when we were spectating him 20 minutes ago, and he's still at six. I hope you're not going to that, my guy. I hope you're not going to that, my guy. Oh, you are. Don't forget his enemy over here. We saw him on the UAV. We're gonna be going out in the open to get this. Nah, this is so bad. We survived. It works out. Oh, we don't survive. Yeah, that was, that was crazy. That was a crazy, 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 crazy move, bro. We knew the team was over there. We literally saw it. He even acknowledges right here. He's like, oh, I know he's there. I see it on the mini map. There he is. Granted, he's not looking at that area. He's looking complete, completely away, but he, he gets the concept. Now, not every moment is a risk it for the biscuit moment. There are times I will do things and I will kill myself to get it done. I really will. If I have a teammate who's on a hell of a game and I'm having an off game, I will die to go to the buy station and get him back because I know he's going to help us win the game and vice versa, right? Um... If I have no plates and no guns and I see something out in the open that I absolutely need and I know damn well at the end of the game I'll only have a pistol and there's nothing I can do, I'd go out there to risk it. He had a gun. He was in a winnable fight. He still had a whole team too. Um, I think it was an unnecessary death. All right, moving on. We've got Truth and we're in a... Oh, it's true. Okay, so this is Truth since uh, 922. Now, this player here killed the last guy we were spectating who had 15 kills on this very rooftop remember the guys on the rooftop that killed the last time we were spectating he's in the same position now he's being damaged if he repeaks again he's going to probably get down and when that happens what's going to happen they're going to push he's got a self-res they're going to push just like they pushed the last guys i wouldn't even re-challenge i would just try my best to get up and slide cancel away like that yeah all right, that's not bad. Oh, now you're re-challenging. No, 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 no. Yep, yep, yep. No. They have a nice ridge. They had great headies, and they had multiple enemies of separation. GG to Truth moving on to one of his squad mates. It's funny how players will kill a squad a certain way. And then they'll later find themselves in that exact same position that got that squad killed. You know? It'd be like watching somebody drive into a brick wall and them die. And then thinking to yourself, you know what I should probably do? <laughs> I should probably drive into that brick wall too. Learn from your mistakes and the mistakes of others while you're playing. Here we are moving on to Katana plays, 10 kills. This, this, this squad seemed like they had a good, good amount of kills. Just these two players alone had 25 kills together. 
And if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure Black John Wick is a pretty decent player as well. Now, Katana's playing it slow, pace, passive. I don't like this at all. Now, I'm not saying to get out here and run around and start slapping bitches and solo everyone, no. But you want, you want to get eyes on enemies. And Katana's mindset, and a lot of players that do this, and I don't know what Katana's thinking, but I'm going to imagine. They're thinking, if I lay prone, no one will know I'm here. If I don't show myself, if I don't make noise, no one will know I'm here. But there's many problems. One, you're not seeing where enemies are at. You're not seeing them rotate. Two, you are not taking opportunities to pick players that are by themselves. They're going to eventually find you when it's a 4v1 situation. They're going to come through and hunt, right? And they're going to find you. So you want to dwindle every team's numbers down if you can. I don't mind playing slow and patient, but just laying here and refusing to look, not, not a fan of it at all. We're just waiting for them to kill each other off. Maybe Katana's making mac and cheese. Maybe they got dev air. I mean, there's no movements in the sticks at all. It's not even like they're looking around. Like they, they just put their controller down. They're just chilling. Use code SAVAGE at, at your checkout, by the way, with Sneak Energy. Get the sample packs, guys. Just trust me. If you listen to anything I say, trust me. You'll love it. No one's died. We've heard, heard a lot of gunfire, a lot of gunshots. We have circle favor still. I just don't get what we're doing. Look at this. Look, look at this. We've got... Dude, if an enemy was to even look through here, which they probably would, we could get shot, sniped, whatever. Not to mention, don't forget about heartbeat sensors. So the thought of not showing ourselves, I don't think is an issue because we're literally just body checking three windows. So Katana is expecting the enemies to run down this direction and come in here because it's on the edge of the zone. And Katana is probably not wrong, but instead of hiding in here, waiting for three enemies to push us at once, you need to peek it and catch them in the open as they're rotating to zone. Good job not going for the execute. Up that reload, there's still a squad. There's still another enemy. He's coming in right side. Oh no! Can't hate on Katana at all, but here we are moving on to train station. Um, rocking three kills. His teammate's still up. He did get downed. But now look, same situation. So we were getting shot at by another squad. You heard shots coming from around here while that fight was taking place, right? So again, the circle's coming in. Anyone playing the edge, which is a lot of these guys, because they were in these little, I'm having a brain fart right now, uh, trenches. They were in the trenches. And they're going to have to come to you. So you got to get eyes on the enemy. Do what Katana did. Stand on the little thing in the, in the corner by the door and look through the windows. Or, I don't know, stand up and look through the windows. That'd be nice, too. This is a very winnable fight for our squad. Very winnable if they just open their eyes and look for players. But we're crouched staring at cement. Wow. 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 Look at the... Look. Oh, we're going to thermal our teammate. Mmm, daddy. Oh, just, you're halfway there, my guy. Yeah, there you go to the right. You saw the tracers. Don't don't fire your gun unless the enemy's in the reticle. Come on, you got thermals, bro. Use them, Bruh. Really, 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 really. Really? Okay, first off, don't get on that table. Secondly, we're literally shooting the enemy. We're, we got hit one time. What does he do? He crouches and shoots to the wall. You could have downed the enemy. You could have. Joey just got one. You could have had the other. And then you'd be sitting pretty. But no. All right, second for that res. 
Any delay and hesitation is going to get you guys killed. Your, the enemies could push. Are you going to res? Nah, you're going to reload. Hell yeah, brother. Train station, you're pissing me off. Now look. Circle's rotating to us. You need to get outside the building and play the wall. Have one of you guys watch the right side. Joey watch the, or I guess the left side. Um, and you watch the opposite side. As soon as you get the res off. Don't go back inside. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Why did you switch weapons for a long range fight, my guy? Why did you switch your thermal brin for that weapon? Delay, hesitation, poor decision making got the squad killed. That's all there is to it. I don't I don't know why he switched his weapon. I don't understand it. I don't. Let me just rewind it real quick. Maybe he had no bullets. I know he did, because he reloaded. Yep, 40 bullets. Sees the enemy swaps. He, he saw the enemy. He intentionally swapped. But now there are maybe a 4v2, 3v3. Numbers dwindling down fast. We might not be spectating anybody. We see him. It's kind of like a third party spectating. It's a 2v3 right now. Pop that self. LOL. Well, there that goes. And GG. Now, look, I would love to start doing these videos more often. So let me know if you guys benefit from these types of in-depths more than anything. I'll still do some trolley quick spectating videos. I know these videos are a lot longer, but again, they're a lot more in depth and I think they have a lot more to offer. So let me know in the comment section right now what you guys think. Do you prefer these? Do you like the other ones? Do you just want to have both of them on the channel? Let me know. I want to I want to do my best to entertain. I'll do my best to teach as well because, dude, the amount of people that still do these things is crazy. Now, this game wasn't that bad, to be honest. It's probably one of our mid-range games. It's not as body as what we've been spectating lately. My name is Jeff. Yo, J Jackson. Thanks for following, son. Uh, but guys, look, again, the purpose of this is to help you guys improve Get better and stop making mistakes. You are better than you think you are. You're better than you give yourselves credit for. Just stop doing the basic fundamental mistakes. You guys will excel. Get out there, fight. Focus on positioning. Make good decisions. Make them in real time. If you mess up, it's okay. Think about what you did wrong. And when you go in the next game, remember that and capitalize on it. So guys, I hope you have a good day. I hope Warzone treats you well. But until next time, you have a good one and good luck in Warzone.